Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Sagittarius reading for um, September 18th to the 24th, 2022. Of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Pick what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Um, we did have a full moon in Gemini. We also had a lunar eclipse in Taurus. Um, that was the last lunar, uh, the last eclipse of 2022 and the last lunar eclipse until 2025. So that's pretty cool. And it's about breaking free, ending cycles, letting go. And then um, uh, breaking patterns and stuff like that too. And then we had Saturn go direct and Jupiter go direct. Uh, we had Mars go into retrograde. And then we had a... Um, the Gemini full moon, and we have a Capricorn new moon. So we have all those energies at play, but let's see what's up for Sagittarius, you versus them for the next seven days, September 18th to the 24th, Lasha home. Sagittarius, you versus them, to the 24th, 2022. So some of you guys could be, you know, getting intimate, right, with someone. Um, it's also like maybe sexual healing or healing from um he like having you know sleeping with someone and it's like this is someone that you really care about someone that you honestly want a future with and that could be very healing for you it's also i feel like um you could be healing this connection with someone where there's a lot of sexual attraction there and like you guys could be taking things more serious or maybe you guys are married and you're bringing back the spark right um but i feel like here you could be dealing with like this person that stabbed you in the back and you could be wearing a mask, right? Um, but I feel like you do like this person. But I feel like you're single right now. This could be like a past person that did you dirty. And you could be kind of pretending not to care. But I feel like this person does kind of have a lot of options. Um, but I feel like they're moving on from maybe options. Or it's like they're going to options because they're trying to, you know, it's like a way, a coping mechanism. You know, this person could like playing card games. But I feel like you do really you're really attached to this person it's just it's a cycle where either you pretend not to care or you guys um tend to wear a mask um both of you guys don't say how you feel you could still be attached to someone who did you dirty you know you could be dealing with more than one person because i feel like you're single here um but i feel like there's major changes between someone that you care about especially with that tower there it's like there's some sort of um, change that's going to be happening. Um, this could take some time, you know, with this person, you know, they might be wearing a mask, maybe not saying how they feel. And that could take some time because they could be moving on from a lot of heartbreak that they've been dealing with. You know, it's like, you could be realizing a lot here. Like this person, it's like a lot of things are coming to light that they're just having to heal from. And, this person is focusing on themselves, but I feel like they want to meet up with you. I feel like, you know, they're hurt and they want to see you. It's like you guys are healing a lot of um, the inner child. It's like evolving to the next phase. There could have been a lot of trauma, baggage that was still attached to you both. And you guys are healing that. Um, you know, your hearts could have been very closed off and I feel like now they're starting to like open again. Uh, I feel like you guys still like, you guys took a lot of pictures or like you guys could be looking at each other's pictures on social media and there could be some insecurities there. But I feel like both of you guys are single and kind of mirroring each other. So both of you guys could have options even, um... You know, looking back, some of you guys may feel like maybe even you were kind of like a booty call. Um, but I feel like, you know, you guys could have even talked on the phone a lot. But this person could be trying to show you that they still care about you somehow. I feel like both of you guys are learning from the past here. And again, there could have been a lot of options, one night stands, a lot of stringing along. You know, maybe saying, oh, we're going to get engaged and stuff like that. And... You know, or you're my wife, you know, we're going to get married. And for some of you guys, it was a lie, karmic relationship and seduction. And you guys are both healing from a lot of that stuff. You know, you could have liked this person, but you have to constantly give them tough love, pretend like you don't care. And there's just massive changes there. 
Um, I feel like you might be wanting to work on it later on during the week. Like, you're going to kind of want to, like, maybe realize that um, you guys could have something stable and that you still care about them and you have faith. Um, but they could be going out dating and considering this relationship over and kind of running from this, you know, maybe not even wanting to see you because they're hurt. Um, it's also like they, they could be feeling like you have other options and that this is over and that you don't want to see them right now. You're the one avoiding them. But, um... There's a lot of attraction here, you know, and you guys could have a very good connection in the bedroom as well. Uh, what are their messages for Sagittarius for the week, September to December? I don't know why I said September, September. So for some of you guys, things could have happened in September between you and this person. So December 18th to the 24th, Sagittarius. Last show for yeah, I see nine of coins. I feel like you guys are single getting more independent, getting more stable, you know, getting your money together. Because in the past, you could have had a lot of self-sabotage when it came to money and independence, where you could have been kind of overthinking, constantly giving it away even. And I feel like that's finally, um, you know, you're finally getting your karmic justice, where you're finally going to be independent, maybe more financially stable. You know, you could have been overthinking your money and um, maybe you weren't even the best with it. But I feel like that's changing Um See, you could have been dealing with someone that was very, like, fake towards you. You know, they dress nice, they look good, but um, they're not financially stable. Because I should have checked all my cards first. But, you know, it's like you could be hooked on this person, or this person's very attached to you, but you guys run in cycles, again, where it comes to communication. I feel like you guys wear a mask, you guys don't open up. But with the Empress, I feel like you're always going to love this person. You know, maybe they did you dirty, though, and you have to, like, love them from a distance. But I feel like you're always going to love this person, especially with that Empress card. Because the Empress card has a lot to do with unconditional love. Um, see, and I feel like this person here, they could be kind of a little bit manipulative. Some of you guys have more than one option. Um... With that king of clubs upside down, that often has to do with manipulation. So this could be like they're moving forward as a strategy, like moving on as a strategy um, to to kind of get over this. Five of swords. Again, I feel like it's a coping mechanism for some of you guys. For some of you guys, that's what you're dealing with. Meanwhile, I feel like this person's wanting to take it day by day. Um, and you could be wanting to this person to be honest with you. But it's like they could almost be like a compulsive liar um, I feel like you could be holding back from communicating with them or you're like afraid to because it's like, I feel like, you know, again, you just want to be happy and I feel like you like them, but they could kind of constantly disappoint you. Um, this person could very much care about attention and success and like the status quo. And that could be very heartbreaking for you guys. But I feel like, um, that's kind of why there's a lot of stagnancy here. Because it's like, you guys, uh, again, there's a lot of pain here as well. It's like, it's not, that's why it's stagnant. And you may not be getting, like, any action from it currently. But it's because of the pain that's there. Again, we do have the not enough card. So there's insecurities here. But at the same time with that four of cups, I feel like you guys are still kind of holding on to this. Because it's like, this person is looking at all these other things. And then you have this cup here that's in the sky where it's like, you know, they're trying to give you love. But... You know, you could be addicted to kind of people that stab you in the back. Um, you know, like that's something that you're hooked on or um, uh, there's just addictions there where maybe you're the cheater. Uh, you could be the one that like is, that cheats and it's because you feel betrayed. You know, you use your addictions. You could go use substances because you got hurt in this week. So be careful of relapsing as well. Um, like for you guys that have been like, you know, sober or something like that. And this could also be in terms of, of like sexual addiction. Um, but I feel like both of you guys are kind of walking away from the lies, the secrets, um, maybe even secretly moving on and letting go of this currently. Um, but I feel like it's not over. Cause again, there's like a lot of, um, sexual attraction here and then there's still karma that has to be balanced out. Um, 
And it could just be in terms of figuring out what you guys want, like, in a partner. It doesn't always have to be together. And then I feel like this person, you know, they're trying to, like, prove it to you. Um, they could be even trying to, like, you know, get your attention. But I feel like um, they don't just love your attention. You know, you could boost their ego as well. But I feel like this person is, like, wanting to, like, take things day by day to try to you know, move forward. I don't really see this person take making any moves towards you right now. Again, with that nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like both of you guys are both currently single. And, you know, it's like, there's just a lot of insecurities there. So I feel like both of you guys could just be kind of wondering if this could even um, be fixed. If it's like a past person, um, if this could be fixed, if this could work out type of thing. So I'm going to just get some clarifiers, but I want to look at the deck first to see if there's any upside down cards. So with that strength card we saw upside down, you know, someone could have a weak character and it's like they can't, you know, they have trouble resisting temptation. Um, they have trouble resist like being the bigger person, being responsible. So what's that for? Swords, Sagittarius, December 18th. Thank you. See, we have the Emperor. So we do have the Emperor and Empress. We do have counterparts here. But honestly, we have a whole lot of people here. There's a King of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Pentacles, um, the Nine of Wands, the Emperor, the Empress. So, and then the Queen of Coins is the only, like, feminine card here. We also have the King of Swords. This musician. We could be dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius. This musician. Thank you. Yeah, see, I feel like this person is, like, trying to bring you in, even prove this to you, Queen of Cups. It's like they want you to see that they're telling the truth or that um, that they figured out that they want you. But when you're being sweet, Queen of Cups, um, Eight of Coins, Five of Cups, you know. But it's like this person could be working on their own regrets here and feeling stuck and feel like they're being pulled in multiple directions and I feel like that could be why they're kind of wanting to just be alone right now. Um, but I feel like what's going to change is this person could have been very closed off. Um, but I feel like that's going to change right there. Or again, they're going to start opening up. What's the uh, Five of Swords? And this could be you where it's like you're in a constant cycle of where you deal with people and that do you dirty or don't open up or don't say how they feel. But this is just going to take some time. Um, see, with that Five of Swords, it's like... Someone could have, could feel rejected by you, even that you cut them off. Or it's like um, they feel hurt having to cut you off and th or this off. But I feel like there's going to be a new beginning there with the Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. See, the Three of Pentacles, that's a partnership, a relationship. Um, so it's like someone could be walking away from a relationship or walking away from things to have a relationship. Uh, some of you guys, it's like this was a third-party situation, and someone's leaving something behind. This is Seven of Swords, Sagittarius. See the full card? I feel like this person's getting a clear head, and they're either going to, like, jump into something with you, or just, in general, they're releasing a lot of baggage, and just, you know, going out into life, trying to be free. Again, I see them really trying to move on, and just kind of accept a lot of things that came to light. Maybe about you, just maybe things that they realized by themselves, the, the epiphanies that they've been having, uh, you know, the realizations as well. And then we have the Six of Cups here on top of the Four of Cups where I feel like you guys miss each other, but you guys are both holding back. But at the same time holding on, I feel like you guys are just very bummed out, maybe even disappointed at, at how things played out. This is a past person. Um... Well, I don't really see a new person here because I feel like this is just, you guys are single, could be looking at old photographs, old memories, and you're just healing. You know, you could be looking at the past, kind of like, you know, where did that friend go? Where did that relationship go? Like, you know, it's kind of like a, a bittersweetness where, you know, you could be moving forward in your life, you know, healing to the next phase, evolving as a person. And you can't help but look back at all these past people that you kind of wanted to stay in your life. But it's like with this Ace of Wands, I feel like you're just having a like a fresh start in life. Um, but someone's going to come back because they miss you. What is the Six of Cups, Twelve of Wands? 
And this is someone that, you know, you guys could have a strong sexual connection or you guys find each other very attractive. Um, five of Wands and the Two of Swords. See, it's like someone is like fighting, opening up. What's the Five of Clubs and the Two of Swords? But I feel like someone doesn't want to fight. You know, they do want you, but they don't want to fight with the Hierophant here. They want some sort of commitment. They learned their lesson. Could be a Taurus. See, Page of Clubs. Someone's going to message you. I did see you with the Eight of Wands. Um, yeah, so you're going to talk to someone, but you could kind of be holding back and a little bit doubtful and hesitant and maybe even not wanting to pursue the connection because you could be feeling like, oh, this person's kind of fake. It's the page of coins. Um, but with the Knight of Clubs, I feel like, um, you're just scared that they're going to play you. But with the, you could also be dealing with a Gemini. But with the Hermit here, I feel like... You have to really like figure out what it is that you want. You know, with that engagement ring, like I saw earlier, you're gonna be figuring out what it is that you want, and what it, what is your idea of happiness? You know, when it comes to relationships, because with that hermit card here, I feel like you don't necessarily have it figured out yet. You could be used to players. Um, you may even think that this person is uh, playing you, but with that King of Swords, I feel like they're honest. They could just be with that Page of Coins, not fake, but just kind of trying to impress you. You know, not really like a bad, like, you know, all oh, is too good to be true. Because with that Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups, I feel like this person just very used to being alone. Both of you guys. And you guys just need to come from the heart with that Page of Cups and be vulnerable with each other. Because I feel like both of you guys are kind of waiting and worried and anxious. And then we have the Devil card there where those are just like emotions that are attached to you that don't need to be there. You know, um... See, two of cups, because I feel like you guys have a really good connection and a really good bond. It's just, and then underneath that, we have the star card, you know, and you guys both have hope about this connection. It could be long lasting. See, four of wands, ace of cups. It could be a loving relationship, but there's this baggage here, 10 of clubs, two of coins that make you go back and forth about whether or not you should pursue something with them. And I feel like this is something about them too, where they have that problem with, um, uh, wearing a mask, you know what I mean? So I feel like um, you could be kind of having with that addiction and stabbed in the back, like worries about getting hurt again. Or it's like, you know, that's just what you're thinking. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go and close it out there. If this resonates with you, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.